pastures are there, but identification is a problem. You are getting my point. <laughs> when we, we, as, as we are moving, uh, as we are moving from different farms, because what you should know is that most of some of some of these. I want you to identify that. I want you to identify that. This is the dominant one on the I want you to. I want you to. Listen to me. I want you. I want you to. I want you to identify these pastures by the way they look. You get my point? You identify them by the way they look. Because we have found out that we have found out that these pastures exist in many of our farms. Yes, but our identification has become a challenge. A challenge. Now, in one of the things we are teaching you here is the, the reason why I want you to look at these things and understand them is because you be able to do identification. If you find central sima, you understand this is what. If you find the smodium, you find this is what? Desmodium. If you find the mukuna, you understand this is what? Mukuna. If you find the rabrab, you understand this is what? Mukuna. If you see good city, you find this is what? Mukuna. Because I've found, I've found it on many farms, and the farmers even planted them, but they said, I bought it from Makere in 1990, but things I don't know even they use. Mm. But when the, 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 uh, the leaves are highly spontaneous. You get my point? Now, if you see what is happening here, you see as it is growing, hmm? you see as it is growing, it is just growing with the grass while rotating in it. So when someone is cutting, you cut the whole mixture and take it. Identification is very important because especially if you planted it with weeds, if you planted it with produce, if you don't know how to identify, you are labor which is being weeding, they are going to weed all of it. Mr. Brian. For that reason, I request that the in those notes that you're going to give us, the pictures are colored. In the notes you're going to get, you are getting the... We may not give you the, the, the colored pictures, but you're also going to get all the PowerPoint presentation. We should have that. Are we together? That's all. Okay, so have you seen it? Yeah. Okay. So now we can go. I want to preserve the germination on the other side and the germination here. Please, you come. Now, I, I, I want you to, I want you to, to see this. I, I want you to observe germination happening here and what is happening on the other side. Four. Are you seeing a change? Yeah. Four. Now, one of the reasons is these ones have not been what? Removed mm -hmm. as they are removed the other side. Okay. So as they are standing, as they are sitting here, they are blocking germination sprout of our, our project. So that's why I was telling you immediately after the tractor has, has, has slashed. You are either burning or you are going to use the fungus, the labor to remove them. The moment they remain, we are going to reduce our production. The moment they, 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 they are removed, the production is going to be high. I've left them specifically for you to come and see them and understand this is what we call practical and understand what is the difference. But immediately, we are, we are supposed to be removing them. So you can stay here and move it. <laughs> 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 
Brian wants the long one. Long one? Mm. The one that can go even for an hour. Yes, that's okay. I aha. Now, thank you very much. Henry. Joel. Make a start. Joel. Joel. Bring my horse. Hey. Bring the horse. Now, we are going to remove this wheat. Our service. Now, what happened is this, I can assure you, this process has been here for the last five years. You get my point? So, in some eight days, there is where you find there is an, an invasion. Are we clear? There is where you find there is an invasion of a certain species, of a certain weed. Now, like now, you see spear grass is trying to invade, is invade yeah, yeah. our our forest. Do you know what happens here if we don't if we don't put precaution? This one will eat it up. Now, again, what happens? What I told you at the beginning will happen. After one year, you will come here and say, "Where was the forest here?" And you cannot see what you cannot see it. But if you do weeding. Rodents will cover up all these spaces where this wood has has been, and you can see the advantage the advantage of plant planting in lines because when you see it is not germinating almost here in the line. You see the lines that still can still be identified. Mm. You can still see the lines identified. Mm. You see another line. Mm. You see another line. Mm. So as it is invading and weeding, it becomes easier. You're getting my point? The weeding becomes easier. So, what happens is we have to do weed management. And the weed management we do, so, like what we're going to do now. One, two, three, four, five. So, let me get five people. Mm. Mine is one, with one. one is mine. They are four. This is dangerous. Yeah, those are the no, I'm, I'm, now, I'm finishing the, the rooms. Now, when, when you are, when you are, no, no, when you are going to do uh, weeding, because, for example, it is going to be very hard for you to remove all the rhizomes here. Of this spear, the spear grass. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to do continuous removal. Are you getting my point? We are going to, to remove, to dig up these ones, and then a few, a few will come as growth is doing what? It's, it's growing, and then we also remove them. Mm. So eventually, uh, uh, it, will, it will cover up the, the area. You can spray it. Spraying it will be extremely very Affect risky. Also the, the For me as an expert, I would come and spray here. And I kill the, 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 the spear grass, while of course it's very less harm. Mm. But now, I am teaching my two OTs and farm managers who are going to teach my farmers. And if information goes from a, from a person to another, it always changes. When a farmer told, tells the, the, the farm manager, and also the farm manager tells the workers, by the end of the information, you will find an empty garden when you open the process. So I wouldn't want to go into that 
by removing it using the chemical because the chemical which can remove it now can also kill the chronic. If it was broad leaf, we would look into the chemical issue. But let me get other two people get this. But also besides getting it is more organic, I think, to do the whole line. Even it is more organic to do to do the whole line. Because this is already fit. We don't want to create scenarios where you're going to start spraying it and then those 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 residues are going to be uh, uh, seen in the what? In our in our beef. Because as we are spearheading beef farming in Uganda, as we are going to spearhead you people to uh, uh, create feedlots, we want to create much production, but we are also not going to sit down, we are also looking into the market aspects. And the market aspects as well as looking at premium prices. Since our beef is going to be high quality. By looking at that, we want to be as organic as and the good thing it is very easy for you to be organic in, in, in beef farming, before in, uh, in feedlot farming, because these animals are going to be indoors. It is, it is not easy for them to just access diseases from other animals and the likes. And we shall be doing biosecurity as much as possible. As we sure we have a food bath everywhere as we are entering our food. Making sure we do biosecurity because in, in, in the future we want also to start advocating uh, 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 green zones for our feedlots. Here I mean that you have a feedlot, but when even if in your sub county there is the quarantine is set, you can still be able to move your animals because your animals are indoors and cannot access. We are also uh, discussing with uh, finding the modalities on how this can be done. Because once the animals are ready to be removed from the feedlot, they should actually be removed. So we don't want to find uh, 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 seasons when there is a quarantine and then your animals are going to are supposed to be removed and when they stay to become the loss. Yet in your feedlot, it is very hard for you to uh, have such kind of. Are we clear? <coughs> now, we have those who, those with those who stand in different lights. So, we are going to do, we are going to do, they are so busy. And no matter where you remove it, this is my cousin also in there. Oh, they are in one place, but can you select good ones? Wait after that, we have to turn the baby. Most of the money, once he puts the money, he talks to kids. You talk to kids. Kids are not money. Actually, not right. Not money, kids are real. You work on Endora. Not, that's okay, but it, it is extremely labor intensive. Okay. Mine. The are new. No others will do it. But you see, you see, you see what I'm doing. Eh? I'm removing them, and you see, I'm almost packing them in one, but at one side. Eh? You see where I'm, what I'm doing? I'm not doing like this one. What she was started to do? I remove as I file somewhere. Aha. Because after weeding. You should be able to see the garden and you see it clean. Eh? When we, when we went to his farm, I found people were, were weeding, but they would, leave, they would leave the weeds in the garden and then they start sprouting again. <coughs> so, do clean weeding. So, those in lines are going to be removed by hand pulling. You get my point? Those that you're going to find in the lines like here, you remove them by hand. So let someone help.
You are going to find a few weeds in lines just next to Coloris. What you do 